here in South Bend. We're now going to be joined by the head coach, Marcus Freeman, who's been wearing an earpiece throughout the day, puts it in to join us now. Coach, let me just ask you so far, it's your first spring game as the head coach. What have you, what have you seen so far that you've liked? Uh, I like that uh, defense seems to be, you know, capitalizing when, when they're in bad situations. I don't like that we're turning the ball over. So we've got to take care of the ball, you know, and I think we're running the ball pretty well on offense, but we've been in the red zone a couple of times and we're, we got three points out of it. So we have to take advantage of these opportunities and stop turning the ball over. And this is the first time now, Coach, you've only talked defense, but you got to see the bigger picture. How have you learned to, uh, to assess what's the best for the team when you got to evaluate well, offense and defense? The ball well, it's, 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 situ it's complementary football, you know, and it's, it's being able to sit down. in with the offense, sit in with the defense, and, and be able to Eight understand the, um, the decisions that we're Those making and why we're calling certain games and why defensively five. we're we're making different calls, but it's still complimentary football. If you don't have complimentary football, there's no chance to have success. What I love is in the decision making, Maris Leofau makes an interception, does a little hip shimmy, yeah. but you went over and talked to him. What was that conversation? It was, it was act like you've done this before and don't cost this team 15 yards because the ref came up to me and says that, hey, I, I might have called a 15 yard jump there. That's what they got to understand. You, you, you got to expect to make big plays like that. When you don't expect to make plays like that, you act like you've never done that. And that's what I just told him. Like, you can't cost this team 15 yards. I don't care about the interception. You cannot cost this team. Nobody's worth 15 yards from a selfish penalty. So that's just what I told him. Well, maybe, maybe in a little bit of a different tone. But. <laughs> <laughs> but they trust you, Coach, and they love you. You can use whatever tone you want. The world saw the video of you being celebrated and announced and introduced to your team. What did it feel like to walk into the screaming open arms of your team as a head coach at Notre Dame? Oh. Well, it's, I mean, it was a chance to, you know, embrace your team. It, it was a long time. It was a long week. And um, I had known I was going to be the head coach for probably 48 hours before that opportunity to go embrace your team. And um, all I wanted to do was be around them. Um, it, it was an adrenaline rush. We kind of made that walk today. It was the first time I've made that walk since that actual, the day that I was announced to the team. And it brings back a lot of memories. It's crazy that it's probably over, over four months ago. But um, it, it is a, a once in a lifetime. Uh, a situation that you'll never forget. You'll hey, never co forget. hey, Coach, one, one thing I wanted to ask real quick is we, we heard from Aaron Taylor, who was quick to point out that it's meant a lot that he and a lot of the other former players have been here today. Now that they're here and they've been here this weekend, what's it meant to you to see so many of them show up and talk to you? Well, it's to, God, it's a reflection of the power of this place, the, the brotherhood. Um, you, you had over 250 former players in a room with every single current player on Thursday. And you could feel the energy. You could feel the, the brotherhood and that only certain people have been able to do. I and mean, they didn't care if you were Jerome Bettis and a, a NFL Pro or, or Ryan Harris or anybody else. They, they care that you are a part of Notre Dame football. And that's to me what we have to embrace. And that's a big part of bringing those guys back because I want our players to understand the privilege they have to be a part of a great university and a great football program. Coach, appreciate the time. I'll let you get back to work, and we'll talk to you a little bit later. All right, I'm going to get back to getting after these guys. Thanks, guys. <laughs> All right. All right. Do it, Coach. You All got right. it.